Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking about a different mod and this one is called Torchmaster. Well this one is pretty cool. There's four things that it adds. Only four, but they're really cool things and you're going to want to check it out. I will have the link down below where you can go download it. But um, first of all, since it's nighttime, let's take a look at one of these things. Um, and that is the Feral Lantern. Sorry, I always call it the Feral Lantern. It's the Feral Flame, Flare Lantern. I'll say it right one of these times. So anyway, it places invisible lights that you can't see. So for instance, if I go over here where there's no lights and I put one of these babies down, watch this. See those lights just pop up? That's the torch doing it. And it's real easy to make and it's really, really cool. Now the other one that's really, really important for at nighttime is this torch. And this one, it doesn't say in this one, like in regular, uh, what the radius is for it, but it is a mega torch and it simply prevents mobs from spawning. So I have one set up here and I have one over there, but that's just to show. But for instance, so you can see how far it goes because over here, mobs are not spawning until this island right here. But if I pop one of these babies down and we get rid of the guys that are already here, because it prevents them to sp from spawning. It won't like kill the ones that are already healed. I should have got a sword out. Uh, let's get a sword. So mobs can still come to your area if they can come far enough away, but new ones will not spawn. Okay, so now if we go away for a minute and you see it just put another light there, so it's still lighting up the area with that feral lantern, which is really, really awesome. Again, we'll put one down over here in the desert. And we'll put one of these down so it'll prevent mobs from spawning over here. But if you look, it's just going to slowly light things up. And once you see how simple they are to make, you're going to be like, oh my god, I need this mod. At least that's how I feel. Hopefully you'll like him. Isn't that just cool? It just lights up the area without having to put a whole bunch of torches out or glowstone. It just automatically lights up the area. Now what happens if you want to get rid of it though? Well that's where this one comes in and I always forget the name Frozen Pearl. So this gets rid of the lights. So any light that is placed down it'll get rid of it. Now if you don't remove the lantern it could still place one back where you had it but you could get if you don't like where it placed one for some reason then this pearl is what you're going to make to get rid of it all right so let's go see how to make these um yeah that's what i thought we got an invisible traitor here ah uh, okay then yep it, it happened and as you can see even though we were gone for quite a while, no more mobs spawned here. No more mobs. Because that's what this torch does, and it's freaking awesome. Alright, so let's go look at the recipes. Uh, I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy this because they are actually very simple. So, for the mega torch, which that's the one that prevents the mobs from spawning, it's three torches on top, uh, two logs, but it's any logs. So it doesn't have to be birch. Birch is just what I happen to grab out and put here. And then two diamonds and two blocks of gold. Look how cheap that is. You know, once you start getting a whole bunch of diamonds, this is nothing. So, Mega Torch. That'll prevent the mobs from spawning. Now, this one we haven't talked about yet, and this one is the Dread Lamp. So, it prevents some of the passive mobs from spawning around an area. So, it only works on a couple of them. So, squids, bats, ocelots. 
And again, it works in a circle radius. Okay, so for this one, you're going to take five obsidian, glowstone, any glass panes, you need two of them, one on either side of the glowstone, but um, I just put white here, it's any of the glass panes, doesn't have to be a certain color, could even be the regular glass panes, doesn't even have to be colored. And then at the bottom, you're going to use black dye, and that is what this one looks like. So for instance, I put one over in the water here. And if you know, you know, since there's no regular mob spawning here, then especially if you're like in a cave or something like that, then especially bats, bats tend to spawn quite a bit. Squid, squid are also spawning quite a bit. So this will prevent that. So if you are building something or you just don't want them in your area for whatever reason, then that's what you want to make. That's not what I use most. Again, I use the Mega Torch the most and the Feral Lantern. Okay, so how do we make this Feral Lantern? Again, really easy. So it's two glass, and again, it doesn't have to be stained. It's just two glass, any of the glasses. A glowstone dust, not even a block, just a piece of dust, and two gold ingots. Look how easy that is to make. And at, it says that the description places invisible lights, but it works just like I showed you over there. It's amazing. And then the frozen pearl, which, you know, if you think about it, makes sense. It's just an ender pearl with four ice around it. Now, it can be ice. It can be packed ice. That part doesn't matter. So, again, that's real easy to make also. So, it is a short and sweet little mod spotlight, but it is one that can come in so very handy. So let me know if you liked it. If you want to see a certain mod become a spotlight, then let me know down below. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you see when the videos come out. Alright, until next time, this is Love Attemptress. Don't get burned.